Hello there, my name is Nascrollo and I'm bringing you this emergency Bitcoin update. And yes, guys and girls, Bitcoin is in trouble, in huge trouble, and we're tumbling down like no tomorrow. Now, in this video, the question is the reasons, real reasons, why is it dropping and what are the current price targets? What am I personally expecting from Bitcoin and what am I personally doing right now? And why is the market so afraid right now? And why Wednesday is going to be a very important day for all markets and especially for high risk assets. So all of that in this video. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button right now and hit that notification bell so that you're updated when the market is on the move. And also down in the description of this video, there is a link to my free Telegram channel where I post a lot faster than on YouTube because it's a lot faster to post in Telegram. So a lot of impo important and super useful information can be found in that channel. So go down in the description of this video and join my free Telegram channel. Okay, and uh, uh, without any further ado, let's just jump right into this pain. Get at least 1,500 likes on this video, guys and girls. I always enjoy seeing your support, and it's always a lot easier to click the like button than to actually make these videos. So I would really appreciate it. And some people are saying that if you click the like button on the videos of Tom's follow on YouTube, your financial situation starts to improve. So check it out and let me know down in the comments. And also let me know down in the comments uh, your current understanding of the market, like how deep do you think we're gonna go let me know down in the comments really interested in your view but uh, without any further ado let's just take a look at exactly why the market is why bitcoin is going down and there are quite a few reasons you know sometimes there are big catalyst events and black swan events that you know are primarily responsible for it but in this instance i think that there are a combination of things so of course it is going to be our correlation with the stock market so s p 500 has opened with a big gap right here. So from, uh, oh, this is, I'm sorry, this is NASDAQ, yes. So from 12, uh, 684 all the way down to 12, uh, 456. So yeah, we're seeing quite a huge sell off. The same thing is gonna be in S&P 500. If you're gonna take a look, oh geez. So this is the same thing in S&P 500. So and obviously uh, we are following the stock market. So, but the question is, you know, what is the stock market so afraid of? And to be honest, again, there are many reasons. Number one, one of the reasons, but it's not relevant anymore, is that a lot of people were really scared of what Vladimir Putin would uh, announce on uh, 9th of May. As you might know, 9th of May is very important for Russia. It's the day when they declared victory uh, on Germany back in 100 years ago almost. And at this point, everybody was really wondering, you know, maybe Putin is going to do some provocations, something that is going to bring a lot of volatility to the markets. But so far, nothing. So nothing, nothing terrible has happened on that front. So that's a good thing. Now, when it comes to other stuff, and that is going to be the next Wednesday, which is very, very important. That is this piece of information right here. So it's basically on Wednesday, uh, the CPI uh, is going to be very, very important. So on Wednesday, in simple layman terms right here, the consumer uh, price index is a big report in the week ahead. And economists expect uh, it to come um, in slightly below March 8.5%. So basically signaling that inflation has peaked. So basically this means that there's going to be an import on inflation this Wednesday. So and as you know, the Fed starts uh, tightening the procedure itself and raising the rates bit by bit, uh, they really want to see the effects of what they're doing. So the thing is, let's go to Bitcoin. And the thing is that uh, on Wednesday, if with what they're doing right now, and which again, as you might remember, this nice bounce that we had in this area right here, actually, that Jerome Powell, they did not, the Fed did not re uh, increase the rates uh, more than by uh, 50 basis points. And they said that 75% basis points is not even on the table, so they're not even discussing it. So that's why the market rallied quite a bit right here. So when they, you know, made a lot of liquidations uh, as it followed, as the move followed afterwards. So the thing is that a lot of people are thinking that with the way that Fed is fighting currently the inflation, that this is going to be, you know, the peak inflation. So people are really pricing in currently, trying to price in probably uh, the peak inflation. So if on Wednesday, uh, we're not going to see any improvement in terms of inflation, of course, it might be a bit higher than it was in April. But if it's going to be more 
in terms of the progression and the speed at which inflation is climbing, uh, then it's going to be really bad and everybody is it's going to probably trigger a huge capitulation in the markets. So that's why Wednesday is super, super important. All we want in the markets and from the inflation figures is to see that it's at least slowing down. So what they're doing right now uh, with the Fed, uh, with the current rate of increasing the rates, that it's actually sufficient for us uh, to sustain and slow down inflation. Because if it's not, then they're going to probably, as a just as a um, uh, speculation, that they're going to in start increasing the rates more often and by large, uh, larger uh, amounts. And that is going to trigger a huge capitalization event, in my personal opinion, in the market. So this is something that is affecting Bitcoin right now, of course, as being one of the highest risk assets in general. So right now, when it comes to our price target, obviously, we are going to, ah, one more thing that I forgot to mention, and um, this is right here. And by the way, if you want to be trading actively, uh, then my personal favorite is Bybit. And with my exclusive link, a quick Bybit shill, I know you guys love these, down, down in the description or in the pinned comment, you'll find my exclusive Bybit link, which will give you a $4,100 bonus uh, on top of your initial deposit and also a 30-day 0% maker fee. So no commissions for your maker trade order. So that's really amazing. Use that opportunity. So also the reason why uh, Bitcoin is dropping is because Dixie just refuses to go down. So the dollar index, the dollar keeps strengthening. And I mean, it has slowed down at this very important key market level, but it's it's turning into a floating one. So it's this level of 103 is just losing uh, power as of right now. And if we're going to go to the weekly chart and even, yeah, so we're going to see this reversal, this amazing reversal, and now it's just not reversing that very much. So it's predicted that probably the dollar index is going to strengthen even more and that is going to affect Bitcoin even more. So really want to see that rejection, which we are just not seeing. So for that reason, also Bitcoin and uh, any currency that is against USD basically uh, is going to be suffering uh, by quite a lot. So for that reason, we are seeing this kind of a trajectory in Bitcoin and this huge sell-off, which is very, very painful. And by the way, let me know down in the comments, because right now there's been some, I bought some uh, coins yesterday. And let me know down in the comments whether I should make a separate video today on the tokens that I'm currently investing in and that I invested in yesterday. There is a big list of old coins, really interesting tokens that you probably should have in your portfolio at this point. And some of them were trading at like 85, 87% discount from their all time highs, which is an incredible time to start putting them in your portfolio. So let me know uh, down in the uh, comment section whether you want me to make that video or not. Comment right now. And of course, it's very easy to say that we are currently heading for this most important support since right here, since 2021, which has been $30,000. So this is the area between 28 and 31. So basically this area right here. And this is going to be our last resort because the next target is going to be probably, as I've showed you before in this long-term chart, uh, at about $25,000. So uh, this is our current target. And we definitely, definitely at least going to slow down at 30,000. And we're going to absolutely stop at 30,000. There probably is going to be a bounce off of 30,000, at least least in the short term perspective, also an interesting trade to put in um, on Bybit. And that's what I'm going to show you on this channel as well, of course, whenever I put in a trade. Uh, but the thing is that currently, if we're going to zoom out completely in the weekly chart, and if we're going to go back into the history, which I really wanted to do, and we're going to go back to all the way to, for example, 2014, and we're going to measure that drawdown that actually happened after the all time high, which is this one right here. And as you can see, we had an 87 percent correction from the all-time high now let's go to the next one let's take a look what happened in this area right here oh geez not this we need this right here so we're gonna see that we had an 84 percent correction in the next bull market now the next one actually but but this is a very tough one because we had a black swan event in this instance and it was COVID. so and here we had a 71 percent um, yeah, decrease from this uh, local high so in this instance you could potentially say that this uh, these massive corrections are actually shrinking. And the reason why they are shrinking is simply because the market is maturing and these assets are maturing. There are many more hodlers who actually believe in the 
long-term perspective and potential and, uh, and performance of these assets, like myself, for example, that are not, even if Bitcoin is going to go to $20,000, I'm not going to sell. And there are many, many people who are like this. So for that reason, uh, it's becoming less volatile. And as it matures, it becomes uh, less dangerous. And these kinds of corrections are not that strong. So in this instance, if we're going to take a look at this current momentum, we're going to see that we're currently trading at a 50 2% discount, almost 53% discount from the point of our all time high. Certainly, we can price in and say that, okay, okay, if uh, previously we had 87% drawdown, then 84, then 75. So we can say that this kind of volatility is decreasing by around 10%, which is very difficult to predict. Then in this instance, our biggest max pain zone could be around 65% correction from uh, the local all time high. So that could be, let's drag it down to 65%. So that could be in this area right here, which is 24 thousand dollars so in this instance if 30k doesn't hold and we're gonna dip lower to actually create a lower low of course which is also gonna be signaling a complete bear market for crypto but again it's not really indicative of anything so it's really hard to make any predictions based on that this kind of an understanding but uh, this is going to be this kind of a you know overall max pain area based on the historic drawdowns and the shrinking of the historic drawdowns something really to uh, pay attention to so let me know down in the comments whether you agree with me or you don't agree with me again this is just my personal overview nothing else just sharing my thoughts and uh, my analysis and my understanding of what's potentially to come historically and using simple statistics simple numbers and simple math so and also because a lot of people are saying that thomas but, and this is very important as well, guys and girls. And for that reason, I always say that, you know, stick around till the end of the video and watch each single one from the beginning till the end. Because we have this kind of a flag formation, uh, which you all remember. And obviously we're having this kind of a pattern, which goes down, then this bull flag, uh, and then we go down. So this is a technical pattern, which most of the time they don't reach their targets. But nonetheless, uh, this target could be uh, potentially something like, from what I understand, around $18,000 or $19,000 could be the target for this break below right in this instance right here. So, and the thing is that I don't necessarily believe in these number one and number two, you have to understand what kind of participants we currently have in the market and the biggest uh, Bitcoin whale in this instance is MicroStrategy and Michael Saylor and his liquidation price, and you can correct me if I'm wrong in the, uh, down in the comments, but his liquidation price is $21,000. So if the Bitcoin price goes to $21,000, um, then uh, his whole entire position is going to be liquidated. So, and I don't really believe that these kinds of billionaires and people who usually know more than we know uh, are going to bet on something that they know might end up being a liquidation. So are they going to increase their margin, which is going to already look terrible, or they're going to just suffer from a liquidation? I just don't believe in it. So for that reason, uh, we really have to see what's going to happen at 30K and then the absolute max pain zone that just makes at least some kind of sense is around twenty-four dollars to $26,000 area. Let me know down in the comments if you agree, if you don't agree, your thoughts, always happy to read those. And if you haven't seen uh, season one, episode six of Crawler Trading Show, check it out. I'll link it somewhere up here, an insane episode. So go and watch it right now. And as always, peace and love. Thomas Crawler, stay smart, stay rich, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.